Howdy folks. So continuing my series of hiking with headphones, I suppose. Today we have the Unknown Soldier mod, which uh, is basically an Alina uh, with, uh, a, uh, what do you call it, a Tanya damper and actually a piece of Sony dampening foam in the bore. Uh, you can do either a high value or a medium value. I have a, I think a high value right now, but uh, I wanted to mention that this is an amazing sounding headphone. I've done quite a few of them and quite a few people have made their own and uh, pretty much everyone said they're just awesome. And uh, so they, they're these, you know, these guys are here. And uh, um, so for one thing, this is like the owner's manual or whatever, large wide bore tips as seen. You do not want to constrict the bore. It will do things to the tuning. Uh, now with the high foam value and like I said, Tanya damper, it definitely rolls the highs off at, and here's the key thing, at lower volume levels. But here's the magic. When you turn the sucker up, you get all the goods and treble comes up to an incredibly perfect place. And as the volume comes up, bass comes up, treble chill or stays the same, doesn't come up and mids bloom for lack of a better word. So point of that is that people that have gotten this, like it's a chill set. If you want to chill, Listen to, I don't know, I gotta catch my breath. Classical jazz at a uh, medium volume level. It is very, truly sultry and chill. And then you wanna rock your face off, put on some metal, EDM, dance, oh God, whatever. Turn the sucker up to the stratosphere. It just settles into this amazing place. In my mind, yeah, all those, Fletcher Munchen uh, curve. It's like the humanness, human loudness curve. Oh, I'm at 11,000 feet and going pretty fast and uh, losing my mind. Anyway, Unknown Soldier has um, a lot of special qualities. And if I had to say, it's probably the pinnacle of what I like to listen to in the tuning for this particular headphone driver and everything. And I've said this, but it's the culmination of like a year's worth of work. Both me, Hawaii Bad Boy, did all the heavy lifting. But end of the day, phenomenal headphone, man. And I can't re recommend it highly enough. Yeah, the, uh, the 3D staging is absolutely incredible. It's just fucking phenomenal. It's at the top level of the game. And so, speaking of 3D staging, I was thinking about this and how even a bunch of people that I chat with don't agree with my impressions of 3D staging. And I came to this conclusion that, you know, a V-shaped or U-shaped tuning gives me the impression of a deep stage, definitely. Feels deep. But what it doesn't feel like is the 3D in 3D space. There is a little bit of it in there and it definitely might make it easier to hear the lesser tuned headphone uh, 3D, but it's not the same. So in my mind, V-shaping means your pin again is going to be after 2.5k, arguably could be somewhere between 2.3, 2.5, but as soon as we go below that, again, the pin of peak, we're starting to get shouty and uh, it gets more in my face. Sound loses its 3D qualities and 
like vocals and things tend to get just overbearing in the mix so that that's kind of where my mind goes with that so v-shaping would be good examples would be uh, the rsv it actually has a slight v-shape its pin is at like uh 2.9 2.8 okay and in my mind it's a very nice like uh uh, media middle ground between quote unquote normal pinna it's like 2.5 and something highly v-shaped which would be i don't know peaking at 4k so just uh things to think about and uh right on and i'll talk to you on the next one